Ha! Friends and family, that was easy to get used to. So, man, check it out. Here's my setup from yesterday, it's still set up. Let me, let me show you real quick. For those of you wondering how I get those overhead shots, I just got that camera up here on this little pole back here. Tripod type of stand that lets you get a nice uh, lock in on an overhead shot, and it works out pretty well. And uh, this is actually where I keep a lot of my, my stickers, a lot of you guys that send over stickers. I, I put them on this little pole right here and I ran out of space on the pole all of a sudden, so now I'm, now I'm putting stickers over there too. If you didn't watch it yesterday, I kind of explained the, the Coral Glow Banana sex link trait and I think I did a pretty good job of visualizing the whole thing so if you want to go check that out I would highly recommend it if you didn't and you're interested in learning about that I like to think I did a pretty good job it hasn't gone public as I'm filming this yet so but it might be good I don't think I had a little too much coffee <laughs> seriously though I needed that coffee because I got like two hours sleep last night it was my fault everything's always my fault I took a little nap with Mushi we ended up sleeping a little longer than than I had planned on and then I got up and at like four in the afternoon I had a strong strong cup of coffee and so yeah, two hours sleep last night. And the thing is right now, I've, I'm playing a show with the band and it's a daytime show. So we have morning load in. I need to go down there. I heard it's a beautiful place. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. We'll see what, how beautiful this place is. I got this awesome jacket that the dudes from Hawaii left behind that I had forgotten about basically. And I figured this is the perfect opportunity to wear this jacket because it's not a jacket that you can just wear to any random occasion, or I guess you could, you really could. And then I'm also going to give the full story on Junior. People, video before last, were really asking to hear the whole story of Junior, and now that he's here and I can actually hold him in my hands, I figured it's a perfect time to, to do just that. Lucky for me, the show is backlined, so I really only need to bring my snare drum and my cymbals, so that's, that's a big win for a drummer. It's, it's really not a joke. I really did have way too much coffee. Not only is this gig a free gig, not only is it on the ocean, but it's also all ages, so the kids are gonna get to come down. And just, it really makes me feel proud as a father when my kids get to see me play for whatever reason. I don't know, I, I, I just, it's just how I feel. Morning time is not a good load-in time for musicians, generally speaking, but I'm not your average musician, I guess. I, I get up early, even when I go to sleep late. Luckily, we don't play until a few hours after setup, otherwise I, I had too much coffee. I don't know if you guys can see the jacket behind me, but I can't wait for you guys to check it out, man. This jacket is so sweet. <laughs> Well, how's this for a spot to play? It's a little overcast right now, which is perfect. It looks like the sun's gonna come out, but it would be sweet if we could keep this overcast thing happening. Just finished that sound check. I'm gonna play in a couple hours. Delirious as hell, but you know, it's all good. Let me get one of the guys to hold the camera real quick so you can check out this jacket that I was teasing you about so much. Check this thing out. Ow, ow! That thing's sweeter than what? It's only for special occasions, so only when I'm hanging out with this guy. Yeah. It's the only time I'm gonna wear this jacket from now on, Drew, is when I'm <laughs> hanging out with you, bro. Hey, Other than really, that, this... that really touches my heart. <laughs> Other than that, seriously, this jacket stay in the closet. <laughs> you guys think glasses or no glasses? No, I think I, I'm, gonna rock, I'm gonna rock the glass. I'll try those. Cool everything looks with these on. All right. Ooh. Everything yeah, looks badass. Oh. Look at the oh, the ketchup does look amazing. <laughs> not, not with that. You got to put the lens over that. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, it was prodigy, dude. Like the first like metal prodigy. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> yeah, they're all they're like eyeing me up because they can see my eyes, but I think they're just looking at how dorky I look. Kind of like smiling. Like I'm like, why are you smiling at me, baby? And she's like, cause you're a dork, dude. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Brian with a Y, everybody. <laughs> Dude, is that guy freaking killer or what? He's killing it right now. Oh, that's the real star of the show right there. That T, that T, the real star. She's the one that belongs on stage. You want to go on stage and dance to? You? Look at those shoes.
beat. We were baking out there in the sun playing that show, man. Add that on top of the sleep deprivation and whoo dang. But the funny thing is like, I'll probably end up staying up and editing this video. It's weird. Like even on the nights when I, I don't get much sleep, I still have like this crazy amount of energy. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just what it happens. Like I'll, I'll crash hard tonight at some point, but probably not till like later. Like later than you would probably think. Later than I would think. These kids were rocking it out there. These kids were going for it. Dance floor masters on the... Hey Noah, what do you know? I know. Dance parties. Ooh, what about dance parties? That the only thing you can love is dancing. Oh, is that how it works? And there's usually music and a shot and a glowing disco ball. <laughs> that's all I know. Hey, you like what? What do you know? I know. Fire. Fire? Yeah. What about fire? That it's hot and it burns your skin off and it comes from stuff and that's all I know. <laughs> comes from stuff? <laughs> what kind of stuff? Hey Mushi. Yeah. What do you know? Am I getting the raccoon thing going on? Am I, am I raccooning hard? Whew. Big shout out to Sav, Drew's girlfriend, for watching the girls, the girls, the boys, the kids. After Hillary had to take off for work, there was, we wouldn't be able to play the show if she wasn't able to step up and keep an eye on these folks when, when Hillary took off. So sweet, good. I'm gonna make sure these kids are well fed and then I'm gonna go downstairs. I'll bring up Junior and we'll, we'll tell you Junior's story. Junior's one of my favorite snakes. Me too. All right, so the story of Junior. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit in this nice window light that everybody talks about. Well, this isn't nice window light, this is harsh window light, but I think it'd be nice for, for Junior's iridescence while you guys take a look at him as I looked, while you guys take a look at him as I tell you his story. This guy's iridescence is, is no joke. So that's Motley Golden Child. I, that's, I wanted a Motley Golden Child for this reason, for just that insane iridescence that they get. It's just crazy. I was having my buddy Shannon build me a rack and he was building it off of a size of a freedom breeder tub that's T! She was just over here, she just wanted to get a feel on Junior, that's why she's going crazy. But guaranteed, as soon as I take Junior away again, back over to the light for the story, she's gonna go start going crazy again, aren't you T? You like Junior? Do you like his tail? Is he oh so nice? Is he oh so sweet, my T? So good, T. Nice and gentle. Good girl. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> my buddy Shannon was building me a rack based off of a Freedom Breeder tub and the Freedom Breeder tub he was building it off of uh, was not the size that I had. I had the FB90 window tubs and he was making it off the FB90s without the window. And so I got the rack, long story short, and the tubs didn't fit. I ended up having to uh, remanufacture them and, and run them through a table saw and slice off the edges so they would fit in which messed with the integrity of the tub itself and just for all that trouble um, he offered to get me a snake or send me a snake and instead of building me a new rack or having me send the rack back, which would have been ridiculous in itself. This is the snake that he sent, Junior, who is produced by a joint pairing between Salvador Valita and Gavin Bow, And he did fine for, for quite some time. J Junior was just fine for a long time. And then he started to get this eye that would swell up. And when I first took him to the vet, he said it was likely from a, a blockage of the lacrimal duct, I believe it was called. Pardon me on the, on the science, but I'm pretty sure it was a lacrimal duct. Basically, snakes don't have tear ducts and their tears drain into their mouth directly. And that was, was blocked and it was causing his eye to swell up, basically. I'm sorry if you guys hear Mushi back there yelling. She's just yelling like a crazy face. And I, I would take him to the vet. They would, they would drain his eye and we'd treat it with antibiotics. We did a sample and test to see if it was uh, what bacteria going on or something and that all came back negative so we would we would treat it we would drain the eye and then it would swell up again you know a short time later a month later or whatever it would start to swell again we drain it it would swell and then after a lot of that his face started to swell up too his face you guys probably saw that his face on this side was just like ballooned up 
And so we did the same thing there. We sent it out for cytology. We treated it with antibiotics. We drained it. We, he tried to clean out, you know, he did an x-ray and found bones and cleaned that out. The swelling never went all the way down. And so we ended up bringing him to UC Davis. We got it all worked out with Riley where Junior could board with him while he was up there getting treated. And, and Riley gave him lots of medicine every other day. And Junior took all kinds of medicine and he never uh, never struck once at Riley and still it seems to be this this super mellow docile snake that is just not afraid of people still super cool good temperament even after all that so UC Davis they did more x-rays more cytology more sending out samples uh, biopsy and testing for cancer and eventually did a CT scan and got in there got really detailed look at his whole system and I kind of determined that the face thing that was happening was it infected salivary gland. So after lots of appointments and, and check-ins, they, they decided we were gonna remove the salivary gland. They had a specialist come in and they, they got it removed. And then he stitched them up and he healed and now he's here. That's pretty much the whole story right there. His eyes look pretty good. That The, the crazy thing is that that left eye is still looking like it's swelling up ever so slightly and I don't know if that's just because of how much time it had spent being swollen or or what it's not bad not nearly as bad as it looked before it's just slightly you almost can't tell if you look at him head on it's almost something that you can't necessarily tell for certain that it's swollen but I know because I look really closely but anyway that's uh that's Junior's story in a nutshell that's that's Junior's story in a nutshell that's Junior's story in a nutshell I'm I'm hoping that he can uh be done, but he, he, we're gonna give him one more check up here at our local vet. And T is just gonna keep yelling and yelling back there. That's why I put the lab mic on. Hopefully her yelling isn't coming through too strong. Hi T, are you over there yelling like a crazy face? I, you're supposed to be eating your chicken T. You're supposed to be eating your chicken. She ate all the chicken? Okay. All right guys, well, I hope, I hope you enjoyed today. I hope that that totally clarifies Junior's story from beginning to end to present. And uh, yeah. I, I'll let you guys know if I end up editing this vlog tonight if I just go to sleep. Or I'll just go to sleep and you won't know at all. Either way, I'll see you tomorrow. Which actually means that in that pairing that I did, we could have gotten a female banana. Because it would have been like that. We didn't happen to hit any of those.